Sometimes people feel pressured around springtime to do a lot of spring cleaning. And you guys know my style. I'm not so into the doing a lot of work. So what I wanna do in this video is share with you some great spring cleaning hacks, some quick shortcuts that will still get you great results and make your house look great, but you won't have to spend tons of time doing it. One of the most high impact things you can do around springtime is clean your windows. But that is a big ask if you think about the traditional way of cleaning windows, which is spraying and wiping. And even if you're using the S pattern and a really good microfiber cloth, it's gonna take you some time. Instead, I've got a really great tip that professional window cleaners use, because let me tell you, they're not standing there with a cloth and a spray bottle. They're using a double-sided squeegee and a very easy solution in a bucket. Here's what you'll do. Get yourself one of those rectangular shaped buckets. Next, you're gonna fill that bucket with a gallon of hot water. So you might wanna do your initial dipping with a glove because it is gonna be hot. You're gonna use a cup of white vinegar and a teaspoon of dish soap. Swish your squeegee around and use your squeegee. You're gonna use the fuzzy side first, flip it around and use the actual rubber squeegee second. You will literally be able to zip your way from top all the way to bottom of any window in mere seconds. Okay, you guys know where this one is going. And frankly, I'm a little uncomfortable doing this because I haven't cleaned underneath or behind my sofas in probably three years. So we're gonna find some interesting stuff back there. If you can't move furniture, let's say it's your bed and you can't move it, cool do the best you can vacuum underneath vacuum around or if possible you can get someone to help you move your furniture and then that way you know you can actually take care of this now once you've actually moved the furniture you're going to see gross stuff that you haven't seen before you haven't seen in a while which is totally fine if there's anything large that's not dust for example hair elastic or a paper clip you want to manually remove that so it doesn't ruin your vacuum then to actually do the cleaning, it takes about, I don't know, 20 seconds to actually vacuum up all of the dust. And then you can put the piece of furniture back where it belongs. The first thing I have started doing, I'd say for the past four or five years, is changing out my closet, getting rid of my fall winter stuff, putting it away and bringing out my spring summer stuff. This gives me a chance a few times a year to do a mass pruning of my garments. The next thing I have are two bags in my closet. One I have for those items that are just on the hanger that I'm never wearing. I pick those items off and I put them in a bag. The next bag I have is just for straight up donations. The donation bag, that one's easy. Anytime I see a friend or a family member that I wanna give clothing to, I'll just bring that bag with me. I'll see what they want or I'll offer it to someone else. If no one wants it, I donate it. The other bag, I leave there for the season. If I want something from that bag, I just go in, take it out, wear it, and it's back reintegrated into my closet. If at the end of the season, it has not been worn, I know that the items in that bag, I can safely donate. And on the topic of seasonal changeovers, now that we've covered the inside situation, the outside of your house needs a little bit of spring love as well. So things like your lawnmower or any other outdoor appliances, make sure they have gasoline and that they're functioning. And your barbecue, you wanna make sure you can make steaks or mushrooms as soon as the weather becomes beautiful. Make sure you have enough propane in that barbecue. Also make sure that you pull out any of your hoses or your gardening equipment so that it is ready. Pull your weeds, at least get a head start on it. I don't know about you guys, we have some terrible weeds. And finally, bring out some of that patio furniture, have a look at it, see if it needs any refinishing or retouching and get it ready so that you can sit on your patio and enjoy the nice weather. In every space, there are those surfaces that you might skip when you're cleaning. I do it. And you know what? It's fine. You don't need to touch them most of the time. However, once a year, you do need to think about them. So this would be anything like the top of artwork or you know anything that's hanging on the wall that you don't normally think about, as well as your door frames. So no one thinks about door frames, but if you take your finger and run it across your door frame, I can assure you it's gonna come up quite dusty. So if you need a step ladder, go ahead and get it. Otherwise, just take a microfiber cloth dampened with a little bit of all-purpose cleaner just so it's got that extra attraction that it can really pick up dust and give it a quick wipe and you're done. And that brings me to this comment question, which is, 
What is your spring cleaning nemesis? What is that one spring cleaning task that you know has to happen that you really just don't wanna do? I'll tell you what mine is. We have one room in the basement where we started to keep baby stuff, like Riley's stuff that doesn't fit her or stuff that we're you know, waiting to use when she gets a little bit older. Um, that room is a disaster and I, I avoid it. I pretend it doesn't even exist unless I have to put something in there and then I just shut the door and I don't look at it. That room needs to be dealt with. I know I need to do it this spring, but that is the one I just don't wanna to get to. So let me know your spring cleaning nemesis in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.